Hey guys, what's up? It's Underverse here and welcome to Potty Quest, the teaser demo by Shy Dog. So if I got this correct, this is a RPG Maker game that is basically, it says it's a teaser demo, but basically it's an expansion of a bigger game that the developer is putting forward and is going to make in the future. But it just, it, it caught my attention because of the plot, which is basically you're a NB kid, which if you don't know what NB stands for, it means non-binary, uh, looking for bathrooms in a school full of monsters. And I thought that was so interesting. And then also this beautiful art style, this kind of chunky, but nice cutesy art style got to me. I was like, God, I got to play that. So yeah, let's go. Let's get in. I've been excited to play this. Hiya. The demo you're about to play represents an idea of what we wish Bard Song to turn into. The art, ass the art assets, dialogue, and general scenario may differ from the final release. We worked hard to ensure all the game's break game breaking bugs have been vanquished, though we recommend you to save often in case things act out in unexpected ways. <laughs> God, that's a that's a whole mood right there. That face, that that sad face. Yeah, that's a whole mood. Ugh. I feel you. We hope you enjoy our teaser demo. Sincerely, Shy Dog. All right. Ooh. The music. My generous supporters, without whom this game would not exist. Oh. The Crust Punk. Oh, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> the Crust Punk. Ooh. What the? F <laughs> I know how you did this. Maybe. Maybe I know how you did this. This is interesting. Okay. It's like a. This is like a parallax moving background. And then maybe this is like, what is this? Is this like a, so, okay. I know how you did this. This is a parallax. The background is a parallax, but then the, the difficulty, this, like the thing I'm standing on, this is an actual tile. Like they made a tile set out of this. I'm guessing that's pretty cool. Pretty snazzy. And then like you walk around with the air. That's pretty, oh, that's pretty smart. I like that. That's pretty clever. Pretty cool. Let's, let's do standard. I mean, I can do easy ish. It depends if, if it's that bad and it's going to rock my ass. I'll go to easiest. I, I won't be afraid. If you're looking for more of a challenge, I don't know if it was balanced this way first. <sighs> Begin with one magic power already unlocked. More generous treasures. I want to have fun. You know, I'm going easy-ish. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to have fun. I want to enjoy myself. I don't want to get my shit rocked in when I just start playing this game. I don't even know what the mechanics are. Name your character. All right. Oh, I look so cute. <laughs> Brad. Bam. Hit me. Name their girlfriend. Me. <laughs> Just me. <laughs> uh actually no, I got a I got a better one. Body body pillow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hang on, I'll get there eventually. Who's a hottie? Who's like who's like popping off right now? <laughs> Muffet from Undertale. <laughs> no. I don't know. I'll just name it myself. I'll fuck myself. All right. Watch up. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Give me, give me that open cutscene. Show me what we got. All right. That's a, that's a, that's a school. Where are they? It's been 15 minutes. They never been here before. Why did they insist on going alone? Yeah. What if they pee their pants? I mean, you're not wrong. They don't have the best track record. Oh, <laughs> oh no. All right. If Ash not, is not back in a few minutes, I'm going in after them. Ah. <laughs> Man, it feels vaguely weird to have like both of my names as, <laughs> as like two characters. Here, take this. You'll need it to get in. Attain Chip's bathroom key. Don't lose it. It's my only one. So, could you tell me exactly how to get to the bathroom? Look, kid. No one's up there watching the store. You seem bright. You'll be fine. Hey, man. You're welcome. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, homie. I'm, I'm busting for a piss, alright? I am going to piss myself. Ooh, oh, 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 that's interesting. Oh, man. I don't really- oh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. God damn it. I don't, I don't, that's so, in, I've seen, I keep seeing developers do this more and more, and I've never really thought about doing it myself. Like, I just, I just don't, oh, there's like a little moving monsters on the screen too, okay. But no, I, I've, I've seen this done in like, um, the 811 game, 
like basically where it's a transfer point between like impassable barriers uh, without like doing a fade in or transferring the player to a different screen. I don't know. That's it's pretty snazzy. It's pretty it's pretty uh immersive, if you will. Should I should I fight one of these things? Let's go. Hello. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. This is interesting. Oh, okay. This is okay. This is okay. This is a lot. Oh, is this? Oh, okay. So that's real time. All right. Okay, and I gotta click myself again. What kind of powers do I got? Smite your enemies. Yeah, let's smite them. God, get smited, you fool. Dude. Get get battered on. Ow! Okay, you're battering me. Wow, this is very different. This is not what I expect. I've, this is weird to say, but I haven't played an RPG Maker game like this. In, in the sense, like, of it being... Uh, side screen. I, I've never played one of these before. I've always played like the top facing. Ooh, that that just disappeared. That slime. <laughs> just whoop. But yeah, I've never played one of these side on RPGs in RPG Maker. Heckin' sweet. You found a thing in a box. Enjoy your 184 cents. That's a lot of pennies. <laughs> or quite a bit of dimes plus some pennies. So this is, I'm guessing this is like the, this is gonna be the structure of the game. I wonder if it's going to have more story to it or if it's going to be just a, like a loose dungeon, if you will. Heck and sweet, you found a thing in a locker. Enjoy your hallway key. All right, ran. Heck and sweet, you found a thing in a box. Enjoy your 84 cents. So like, I just need to touch everything. <laughs> That's, don't take that out of context because that can, that could take me to court. Heck and sweet, you found a thing in a locker. Enjoy your giant eraser. Oh, I could chew on it. I've never understood that. Do... Oh, you could change your name. That's cool. That's cool. Fiddle with the video options and such. Video options, like what? <gasps> what the fuck is that? What the fuck are you? You're creepy. Jesus. You're creepy AF. <laughs> I don't know why but recently I've been saying AF a lot more. Oh, imitate the target. May learn a new ability. Alright. Okay. We got leftover pizza too and a doggy biscuit. <laughs> oh god, I'm so terrible because th isn't there like a sex thing that's like a something biscuit? Like a soggy biscuit? It's like you jizz all over <laughs> oh god. You jizz all over a goddamn biscuit. That's all I know. I think that's what it is, isn't it? I think I remember reading it like while I was like perusing the Urban Dictionary because there's funny shit on the Urban Dictionary. Like there's just the worst terms ever imaginable on the Urban Dictionary. Oh, is this a chess? It is. I can sweet. You found a thing in a chess. Enjoy your pinty hat. 10 XP score. I kind of, oh yeah, I, I really like that. I think more RPG Maker games need to do that where you just get EXP from searching stuff. That's cool. A pointy hat if you want to get technical with it. Oh, a pinty hat. I got you. That's, I see, I see, I see. Just a backpack? Just... What? Are you... Wait, what? what? There's, there's extra dialogue here. I was about to make a joke. You imagine how it would feel to jump inside the bag and just vibe for a bit. You decide against it. No, get in the packing peanuts. By the way, this isn't a bag of packing peanuts. I think... I think it's a table with packing peanuts here. Oh, am I gonna jump... A, oh, yeah. How it would feel to just jump inside of it, yeah. I don't know, it'd feel like... I guess that does sound vaguely satisfying to do, you know? Oh, can I go in here? Yes? No? No, the answer is no. Ooh. You there! Halt! Don't be a boss fight. Ash, is it? Dog face, okay. Oh, you're my Gary! Your little potty brick is gonna have to wait a teensy bit longer. No! What? Wow, you are... Are you long? You're such a long Chad. Wow, okay. I'm gonna smite your ass, dude. Like it or not, you're coming with me. Dude, are you trying to fucking, like, kidnap me? Holy shit. My man just knocked me the fuck out. Yo, dude, wake up. Yo, yo. Yo, I'm getting fucked. Ugh. Shut up just in time. Now back off, creep. Oh, my my waifu came. Thank God. I'm not alone. God, uh, oh shit. 
She protects, she attack. <laughs> uh, fuck, I don't know what to do. I don't fucking know what to do. This is all a lot. Oh my god. Oh my god, we did zero damage. I guess because they're more of a mage, perhaps. Let's, uh, let's strike. Oh my god, what the fuck? What damage, what the fuck? That's crazy. Yeah, cheer, there you go. Cheer, cheer, cheer Ash up. Man, it's it's so totally confusing. Why did I, why did I set my name? I'm gonna imitate because I wanna, I wanna steal one of their abilities. Oh, I got whirlwind, fuck yeah. How'd that feel, asshole? Oh, and I learned it, you fucking twat. Get owned. <laughs> Do we need a heal? No, I think we just need a cheer. Keep on cheering. Oh, get a, keep, keep whirlwinding. Ow, you just smacked me. Ow, that hurt. How dare you? Oh, my ass! Not oh, my ass! Row, whatever that means. What does row mean? Oh, do you like back up and you can't be hit? Maybe, maybe that's what that means. Man, I really fucked myself. And I don't, and guys, I don't know if you know this. I don't have a save slot. And uh, my character can't do damage. Yo, I just soft locked myself, y'all. I just soft locked myself hard. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. This music's really rad, though. It reminds me of, uh, gives me real Final Fantasy vibes. Very whimsical. Uh, I just got settled down, kid. <laughs> Annihilated. God, I, I peed myself in the end. Feels bad, man. God. I'm telling you, it was like a. Oh, I really do have to, I really do have to restart all the way. Oh, fuck. By the way, none of this is skippable. Like, I, I, this is like my punishment for, you know, not saving the game as the game told me to. It's to, it's to sit through all this, which is fine, you know. It's all, it's all, you know, it's, it's, it's all right. I'll, I'll be, I'll be all right. I probably should have explored more before I just ran into random directions. Because there was so much more to explore, but man, I got my ass clamped. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay, that's terrible. Uh, what is this person doing? Are you, are you jerking off? Are you? What? What is this? What are you doing? Ah. Uh. Uh. Hello there, young man. Or wait, miss. Oh gosh. I'm not used to having visitors. It's been a while. Anyway, what brings your brings a young wizard such as yourself here? The gender neutral bathroom? Have you seen the groundskeeper? Are you a real g g g ghost? Uh, probably. They they probably are a real ghost, but let's ask that anyways. You have a habit of not believing what's before your very eyes. Of course I'm real. Oh, oh okay. May I ask a favor of you? Yeah, what's up? I try not to ask anything of anyone else unless I really have to. As you can see, I'm kind of dead. I kind of dead. I'm dead. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh, please put a gunshot sound effect. Please, please. I just, wow, just, I need to go. <laughs> no. Oh, that, that is a pretty good joke. All right. <laughs> and that really affects my ability to interact with most things. They just ignored me. Gosh, I miss playing the piano. It's also kept me from rewatching one of my favorite movies. Oh, you need me to find it. What's your favorite? I'm, I'm really interested. R really? You want to know? What is it like? Big titty, <laughs> big, big hot oogly, oogly boogly titties bouncing porn volume 339. Is that what that is? Is that your favorite video? You may not have heard of it. Now that I mention it, I think I've even forgotten the name. Wow. No bother. Need to jog your memory? Yeah. In any case, I'll need a TV or I can't watch anything. Favorite or not. I crossing one over by the bathroom just the other day. Okay, I'll be back by later. So you need, you need shit. You, you want me to get you shit? I can get you some shit. So I haven't got the eraser and stuff yet. I've been exploring these like, or I just, you know, I just started and I was exploring areas I haven't explored yet. So we can make sure we get everything. Oh. <gasps> That's where you use the money at the machines. That's why I was getting my ass creamed. Cola, out of order. Sorry. Fuck. God damn it, management. It's just like when it... Have you guys... I'm, I'm sure everyone has experienced this, but every single time you want to fucking, like, 
frosty or a blizzard and or some kind of ice cream alternative we found a reefer jacket anytime you want any of those alternatives you know what fucking happens they're like oh sorry the machines are down and i know some just to clarify just to clarify by the way just to clarify just just to rile you up more i know someone who was a manager and they say that sometimes their employees would just say that because they didn't feel like cleaning it up i don't know if that's true but if that's true and you do that you're scum to me <laughs> you're a scum i can't tell you how many times i've not had a frosty and it makes me sad what's the reefer jacket do it sucks that's what it do it sucks it sucks i'm not putting that on it sucks what is this oh it took me down here oh and this is the tv right oh fuck i fucked that up can I? <laughs> yes, please. Please reset the cart. Thank you. <laughs> All right, keep moving it. So you gotta bring, the, I guess we gotta bring the cart to our ghosty friend. Our ghost with the most, if you will. <gasps> There's a chest over here. I want it. Heck and sweet. Whoa, $1,000. Add and head XP. We're gonna leave that for now. I don't think we're able to do much with it for now, but it's there and we have to remember in our mind's eye that it's there. We got a lot of money though, so that's good. Nothing of importance there. Isn't that where I found something else in the last run? Maybe like stuff is a bit randomized, you know? Which is nice for. Because you might find some cool shit where you didn't find cool shit before. Is there. Oh. I don't really want to fight the little slimes. The little slimes are like little bitch boys. I can just like, whoosh. it's like, it's like, I don't care. Get out of my way. Okay, duh. what's down here? Ooh, there's another open locker. Oh, there's a computer too. Enjoy your broom. What does the broom do? Do I stick it up my, hmm. <laughs> do I stick it up my, hmm. It's not for me. I'll tell you what, it's probably for our girlfriend. Uh, can I? Can I? Can I? No. Will this take me over there so I can get that? Yes. Yes. Wait. No. No. Sag. I'm so... No. No. Don't you paint me like that. That makes me so sad. <laughs> no, I can't even go in. This place sucks. I didn't even get anything for myself over here. <sighs> Yo, Yo, you want to fight me, bro? Let's <laughs> see what you're all about. You're going in for it. Oh, I get Oh, I get first smack. Oh, get fucked, dude. I probably should scan you because uh, I need to. I, I want to imitate you. What you got? Darkness. I learned darkness. What does that do? Wow, that was a weak sauce ability, dude. Tem oh, blinds you. Okay. So kind of weak sauce on me. I guess what? Okay. Wow, you were just, just so sad. It was so sad. I was so scared of you, but you were so sad. So, so. Wow. I think the slimes are stronger than you. That feels bad. Heck and sweet, you found the penty hat. I don't think stuff is randomized because I think that's where I found the penty hat last time. If I'm correct. Mm. I feel like if you start saying any word multiple times, it just starts not making sense. Induendo. Induendo. Induendo, 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 <laughs> induendo. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. Maybe that. Maybe I should be attacking on the little sum so I can at least level up. That's locked from that side. Can I get in from here? It's locked. How the fuck do you like? There's like so much garbage in the way there. How do you get that chest? There's a ladder here. I, yeah, you can just... Okay. Oh my goodness, where the hell is this taking me? This is... I'm like... Oh, it's gonna take me down here, isn't it? Yeah, it's gonna take me down here. Yeah! 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 Big brain on me! Big brain! Biggest brain in the library, yo! What is that? <laughs> That's not cool, man. That's not cool. Come on, man. Come on, man. I was like really happy, and then you just stole my happiness away. 
Oh my god, I gotta keep eating doggy biscuits. Okay, I'm gonna eat my leftover pizza. Please stop. Please stop. Oh, it's dead. I should have fucking imitated its abilities. Its abilities were nuts. God damn it, it died so fast. I didn't expect you to die so fast. You fucking bit. <laughs> you fucking asshole. I didn't expect you to die so fast. Why'd you die so fast? <sighs> hey, you. Oh. Oh, Ella. Oh, you're taking your sweet time. I wanted to make sure you didn't wet your pants or something. Oh, thanks, Ella. Also, yeah, you notice I've, I've changed their name. By the way, also... That's pretty fucking cool, I just noticed. Ella will join your party. Uh, like, I, I guess it's just a time-related thing, so if you're just walking around here for a long time, they just come in to help you. But then also, if you're in a battle with uh, Dogface, they'll come and help you too. That is so cool. I really like that. That is really cool, and that reflects how much the game actually worries about your choices. I really like that. That's so rad. N no. I'm having trouble finding the bathroom, though. That jerk from upstairs didn't happen to tell you where it is, did they? Not really. He muttered something about following the plants in between the phone calls. Well, okay. Let's find a place for me to change before I get a rash. Ugh, what? <laughs> Great news, Ella joined your party. Rad. Damn, this fanfare is fucking nutty. Jesus. <laughs> Rad. All right. Oh, I think the music has changed. That's so cool. God, we still can't get into that. All right. Can we? I kind of want to buy some shit, dude. Because I'm getting my ass pounded. Man, ugh, the music in this game is really good. I, re I really like that music change. It's so cool. I want to buy two of these, just in case. And I just want to buy some chocolate bars. Buy some chocolate bars. All right. All right. So I guess we keep we should keep grinding out the uh, the the slimes and just suck them up. Hey, hey there, miss. There's one more thing I need to say. H have you seen the others like me? <laughs> yeah, what of them? There are others. I well, I saw some of them. I just couldn't interact with them. There are. Yeah, I'm not the only ghost. Most of them aren't as chatty as me. One of the others have known to pal around with girls she finds cute. Just letting you know. So, um, if you see her, no need to get spooked out, okay? Anyway, her name is Maria. Funny. I remember her name, but I forgot who I was a long time ago. B but I digress. I said too much. No, it's all right. Okay. So Maria's very friendly and might join our party, potentially. That's what, that's what that suggested to me. Ooh, what is this? This is a new room. Alright, it's a Sakamon S puzzle. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna get stuck here, aren't I? Oh, wow. Wow, you think you're cool, huh? Alright. Oh, I hope... Yes. No. Yes, no. No. Fuck balls. I think I fucked that. I fucked that up hard. Ugh, what is this way? I can go back in there. Oh, it's a, it's like a little. Oh, this is the piano for the ghost. Oh shit. So there's like a lot of things. Oh heck yeah! You found a cassette in the radio. Enjoy your VG remix number one. Does this mean I can change? If this means I can change like music tracks I'm listening to, I will fucking explode. Hand in hand makes you think you can survive all. Okay, wait, maybe it's an item in combat or something? Maybe it's a gear of some kind? Oh yeah, I forgot. Oh my god, the cold rock gives you insane fucking... Wow, jeez. Let's go up the slider. See where this will take us? Will this take us to the promised land? It is taking us to the promised land. All right. Move out the way. What is this? Heck and sweet. You found a thing in a box. Enjoy your fire rock. 10 EXP scored. What is a fire? Is a fire rock better than the cold rock I just got? No, it's just the same. I guess I can give Ella some stuff too, right? Yeah, I can give Ella the fire rock. The fire rock. Can give them the pocket dictionary. Oh, and they get the broom, yeah. Bam. Wow, their curiosity is fucking nutty. What does that mean? 
What is, like, what is, I, I want to know what that stat means. Ooh, wow. Ella does nutty damage. Ella's nutty. Ella can get nutty too. What's in the locker? I found a baseball bat. That's probably better than my fucking wind sword, right? Yeah, boy. Yeah, it is. Buy one. <laughs> I mean, it's better than nothing. I will take it. I still, oh. Uh, okay, cool. It's, it's locked. What kind of shit is that? It's locked. That sucks. That makes me sad inside. God, there's so much... There's, like, so much side stuff. There's more side stuff than I was expecting there would be. I was expecting it to be, like, a main quest, and that's... That's what you get. I feel like we... I feel like I've been everywhere, and all I have to do now is beat Dogface, but I feel like that's not true. Maybe there's, like, more stuff I just haven't found. Like this. I can sweet. I found a hallway key. Bam. Where does that go? No one knows. Where does the hallway... Actually, you know what? We need to save. <laughs> I didn't save this entire time. Oh my goodness. We could have been doomed. Could have been doomed. Oh my goodness. We're, we're fucking menaces of society. These things are just living their best life and we're just killing them. They didn't even get to attack. Wow. <laughs> Who feels like the monster now? Wow! God, I'm so powerful. God, I can crush people with my thighs. Mm -hmm. Can I use my... You tried using the hallway key. Yes, it opens. Yes. Yes. Oh, fuck! That was a rougher battle than it needed to be. <laughs> it was a little bit rougher than it needed to be. I'm going to have to use a chocolate bar, but that is a-okay. What is down here? This is... Oh, that's the... That that was the other side to the. We can go over there, so because I'm I'm not gonna be able to describe it as accurately as showing you. It's just this area. It was the other side of this area where we saw the chest. We got a glimmer of it. Uh, can we use the hallway key? Yes, we can. All right, sweet. Oh, does this actually work here? It does. Yes. Okay. I can't afford any of it though, unfortunately. But that is good. That is good. What did, what did those read? They had like really cool stuff. Pink lemonade. What's the difference? Two servings. Soda for gamer girls. That's what I need in my life. <laughs> uh, and Dino Roar Power. Mm. It's all the rage. Two servings. Restores 10. Jeez. Jeez. What do you think I am? A tank? Jeez. Now we can get more stuff here. All right. Is this? Heck yes. You found a cassette in the radio. Enjoy VG Remix number three. Does... I wonder if like... I guess I should have a cassette player, but I just don't. Oh, hey, Miss. Thanks again for looking into that TV cart for me. Okay. Do you... Do you... Wait. Hmm. Is that... You just want it? I found it. Is that fine? Is it fine that you, you know I found it, apparently? Maybe. Maybe you don't know that I found it, but you know that I'm looking into it? Maybe, but I feel like that means that you know I found it, maybe. I don't know. Maybe, perhaps. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe now I need to interact with the piano, too. Golly. I don't know. Okay, I think that perhaps this is as far as we possibly can go for now. So I'm going to fight Dogface. And if I get my face and my ass creamed, well, that's just what happens, unfortunately. But I tried my best, all right? I looked everywhere. I scoured the place. I looked back at the TV cart, and the TV cart's still playable. So that must mean that you still need to do stuff with it. And I think that we just need to progress, and then maybe we can help the ghosty goo out. All right? All right, so let's, 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 let's fuck, let's fuck up Dogface. Ash, is it? Your little potty break is gonna have to wait a teensy bit longer. Dude, I'll tell you what, I'm like, at this point, my character is literally dying inside. They, they're they dead. Like it or not, you're coming with me. Oh no. It didn't work. Yeah, get fucked, asshole. Excuse? You're making my job much harder, you know. Ow, dick. That's that's interesting. That dialogue didn't show up before, so I wonder if it's like um, it happens if you have Ella in your party. Oh, don't do that to Ella, you fuck! 
Ella, heal yourself quickly. Use a chocolate bar. Dude, how much fucking shit do you have, man? You work out? Oh, no. <laughs> you work out? Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Get fucked. How did you... Seems I underestimated you. See you around. I'll get you next time. I'll get you next time, Inspector Gadget. <laughs> Wait, just who? Wow, that was even are you? <laughs> wow, what a scrub. Heck, I still gotta change. Is this the bathroom? If it's not the bathroom, I'm just gonna let it out here. Come on, Chip. And I leaked too, damn it! Ah, oh, nice. Ah. Oh. oh, it's all over the place. Wait, was this- was that it? A lot of people call me strong. I guess it's supposed to be positive and uplifting. But, to tell you the truth, I've never been more meek and afraid in my life. Hey, look at my fucking scorecard, dude! Fuck yeah, bitch! Look at my scorecard, score! Wow, man, I do have a. Ooh. Wow, three enemies. Is that it? Really? Just three? Wow, I really like the score system. Oh, I feel, I feel like I did a lot. <laughs> I feel really cool and really awesome. Wow, there's so much more to this demo that I just didn't find. What the fuck? I feel like I, I feel like I was everywhere. Thank you for playing. Oh yeah, it was right. Oh my God. Wait, I'm, I mean, I did save if I wanted to go back and look around, but yeah. Special thanks to Kenzie, Zane, Yuki, and Taylor. And to everyone who support me on these days where all seem lo lost. On those days where all seem lost. Okay, y'all, that was Potty Quest. Uh, the teaser demo, just to clarify. So what did I think about Potty Quest? I thought it was pretty fucking snazzy. I like, there's like so many like little things I really do enjoy about it from the dialogue's really nice and comfy and wholesome uh, and also very playful and comedic while also like the, um, the, the combat itself, it doesn't, it does, especially like when it comes to the combat, uh, it doesn't fall into the thing that worries me about a lot of rpg maker combat which is you know you're whacking at an enemy for 30 minutes or 10 minutes like even 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 the end boss dog face um they they they're they you know they kind of have that like kind of rpg maker boss quality of like kind of having uh kind of taking a while to beat but at the same time it, it didn't take too long and that 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 that's very nice because other rpg maker games have a really hard time making rpg combat like not boil down to just two hulking behemoths smacking each other for like 100 200 damage so i really do and I, i'll be honest personally a lot of the rpg games that i've been working on in my spare time a lot of them have small numbers because i prefer that over like seeing 99 9000 damage done and like i don't know i i just prefer small damage better than uh seeing massive giant numbers like going into like the four five six seven digits on screen when you're attacking enemies also i found the game's exploration pretty fun to play um I are pretty fun to delve into or do uh, that's kind of because you're also like mechanically you're not just rewarded via items but you're also mechanically awarded with exp so technically like if you if you didn't even battle enemies like I only killed three enemies apparently it said uh, which I don't know if that's true but uh, if you only battle or kill three enemies you know you could still gain exp from just exploring the world and i think that's really cool you don't really have to grind in the normal way and i i, I or in the you know titular rpg way of like smacking a bunch of small enemies and just sucking up their exp over and over again until you're like at a good enough level to fight a boss and i really do enjoy that i like that you can go an alternate route if you will also there's some other things like with the design of the game i i do kind of really like the lack of transitional screens it, it makes the game very, seem very immersive in comparison to other rpg maker games that like constantly take 
you fade you in and out of areas. I, I really do like the fact that you just like open doors and you can go through it. And um, it, it seems like such a small thing that wouldn't add much. But if you played any RPG Maker games or even made some yourself, you you notice the difference with this game and uh, some other RPG Maker games that, you know, use a lot of transitional screens which can kind of break the flow but depending on the genre of course like maybe it doesn't like i think the fact that this game is a more exploration game like you want to keep exploring and keep 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 exploring well like if you know you're making a survival horror game or a horror rpg maker game having fade ins are kind of nice because it gives the player a breather it lets them relax it lets them ease off for a bit right it's a it's a pacing it's a way to pace out your game to an extent this is more like a quick fire thing like with the things that i'm gonna say now uh i really like the imitation skill that was really cool i liked how i like the little changes in dialogue with how ella or your girlfriend can join the party you know they can join you because you took too long while exploring the dungeon or they can join you while in battle with dog face and I like that dog faces dialogue changes i also like the vending machines as a concept for the shop traders and also just to bring it down home the visual style and also music of this game is fucking rocking and i loved it i never figured out what the cassettes did but they they seem like they if they do what I think they do, and if you find a cassette player and you can change up what music you're listening to while you're exploring these dungeons, that could be really rad. Because I, I feel like there's some musics that are bops, like real bops, and players would want to listen to them again. It would really, really add on to the explore feeling. Because I feel like whenever people play exploration games and or games that are focused on kind of having a more chill atmosphere, which this game has, maybe it's because I played on easy mode or maybe that's just how the game is but i feel like this game is just a more calm game and whenever people play calm games you know they kind of want to listen to their jammies or maybe a podcast and i think having like in-game cassette tapes that could change the music could be really cool and could really enhance that whole feel if that's what the cassettes actually do does do do so if i had to give any advice or any feedback about the game uh it would be about two things the first thing is how you do cutscenes and dialogue. So I've made RPG Maker games before, and in my most recent one, Bald Sea Grapes, I decided that I want to do more text crawl. And basically, what what I mean by that is making it where like certain things are emphasized, where like there's waiting like wait timers on how or when text appears on the screen. It's used to, it's used especially in RPG Maker games to emphasize like a word or emphasize a sentence and or to emphasize a feeling and it does add or emphasize those feelings that you want to add like for example if a character is experiencing sorrow maybe they'll be like oh my god dot 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 and like all that will you know slowly crawl across the screen um, slower than usual in comparison to how it normally does in rpg maker Though there's a problem with that or a con and that's the fact that if a player wants to skip through it or go through an area or maybe not see that cutscene or dialogue, it's really tough and it's really tedious to get through it. And I don't, and I, I won't necessarily tell you to take it out or anything like that. I'm just telling you that if, if you are going to make a game like that or make it where your text is like that, you're gonna there's there's going to be players that will be like oh this is tedious because i've i feel like i've had people especially play test bottled sea grapes that were like this is a, this is a little tedious but if if you want that want that feel if you want to emphasize a point it's fine it's completely fine to use them um if anything at least add a skip button with the cutscenes that are more like parallax focused or anything like that which you already did with the intro cutscene, so I think that's pretty good. So the second thing that I want to talk about is just, it's it's a pretty simple thing. It's just the fact that um, whenever you interact with an object, like a locker or a box, I think that it should just not let you interact with it anymore if there's no items in it. Because I think uh, if you open up something, like yes, I think like it's nice to keep opening up a locker and it gives you an animation it shows i think it kind of shows an interesting sense of polish and also like i'll be honest your locker opening animations are very cool and nice and polished looking and satisfying but at the same time like if a player is like just like trying to look around for as much goods as possible and you know they're juggling a bunch of other things they might forget like what lockers what boxes they open and it might get a little frustrating to them to keep ending up opening a locker admittedly this is just this is this is a problem i have and it, it didn't really frustrate me all that much but i'm saying that it might frustrate other people if um you know they 
keep going to the same place and they're lost and they keep opening up lockers looking for a key item and they're like i don't know where it is i don't know where it is oh my god why is it letting me interact with this if i if i've already looted it what's the point blah, blah, blah. you know that said i do really wonder if um how potty quest or i guess bard song is going to evolve because i'm interested to see if it's going to have more darker undertones i think what ends up happening is um a lot of these not a lot like even i'm guilty of it but like i don't know there's something fun about adding just a little bit of horror elements in in games even if it's not like um especially in rpg maker games i don't know it's it's i feel like it's inherent to rpg maker dna to add at least some kind of horror or spooky element to it but maybe this game will just be completely wholesome i feel like it does have the potential to veer a little bit into the dark more dark areas or more dark themes if it wants to but even if it didn't i think it would be an amazing game so guys that was potty quest the teaser demo by shy dog tell me what you guys think about potty quest in the comment section below hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys have a wonderful day and i love you guys sincerely as under here i'll see you sexy later